Yeah, I have to go for Glory. I mean, I know he'd be happy with a draw because, of course, it guarantees first. But it's what it is. We got to go for it. Okay, last game, you guys. Let's play Knight F3. I want to play something super slow this time. I want to be. I want to be slow. I want to be very, very slow this game. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna be very. I'm gonna play very slow. I think I'm gonna play like Artemia actually. Oh, okay. Or we can do this. Okay. Um, I want to play against this. I played this line. There's Bishop G4. This is not supposed to be right, though, I don't believe. Let's go Queen B3. I'll obviously, trade. Actually, I think this is slightly wrong if I remember this correctly. Or is he supposed to take he might i had a very old game of bermuda in like 2001 in a very similar line against this uh, this against this german i am i think his name was dinstool as this game like bermuda 2001 with black and i didn't take on f3 and i went on to lose the game so this is this is kind of known um yeah it was dinstool i don't i don't i don't remember the exact game but it was something very very similar to this yeah it's incredible that you memorize it. I didn't memorize it. I'm just able to recall it. I'm able to pull it out of my you-know-what. Um, I didn't memorize anything. I think F4 makes sense. Just to close the center and go like Knight A4 maybe. Yeah, it was Dinstool. That was his name. Yeah, but I didn't memorize it. I just happened to, to recall it. Um, do I castle or not is a question. I can castle. I don't love it. Knight E2... I don't love knight e2, but I kind of do like it. It's just, it, it gives me more ideas like knight g3. My position remains somewhat stable here. Again, a draw, I mean, a draw doesn't mean that I'm out of it. Cause I, I mean, it means I get second, but I, I want, I don't want to like go crazy and just risk like a, just losing and, and missing out completely. So I kind of want to get it to a situation where I have two results. I can like, I can win or I can draw. That's really what I'm a angling for here. He goes there. I mean, I assume I'm going to sidestep because I always have F3 on Knight G4. I mean, Bishop B4, there might be some Rook C6. He does play Knight G4. That's interesting. So he's kind of asked me to play F3. I think I will. I'll indulge him. I mean, is he going to H6? Because then there's the E4. Like, I don't know. Somehow this doesn't look quite right to me. I mean, he still has Knight G4 ideas. Rook G1. And now I think I'm going to play E4. Yeah, I'm just going to go E4 here. I'm going to try to take space. We'll see if my instincts are right or not in this position. But it seems like the right option. Third and fourth place are low in tiebreak. Yeah, I mean, it's just like I want to... I mean, the, the thing is, like, I, I feel like I should play here. I don't know if Rook G1 was right. Maybe I should have gone E4. Okay, but that doesn't actually do much for him, I don't think. Uh, he has knight a5 maybe that really concerned me i think my center is big though i've got a big center so i don't think i should be worried about knight a5 here that's my that's my my intuition tells me that my big center compensates for whatever he gets on the uh queen side here but i could be wrong also has to be very careful because okay he does it wow okay well this is going to be interesting now it's going to get double edge because now my center he won't be able to attack my center at all Takes with the rook logical, reduced number of pieces, very logical move. Um, I can play a three. I don't really want to. I also don't really want to trade, but maybe I should. I think I will. Let's do this and play queen a four. I have a three threatening the pawn. At b five, I just take. I don't know. Either I'm either I'm either he's completely fine or I'm much better. One of the two. And we'll see in a couple of moves. If I can get the C pawn, I'm probably winning. If he can consolidate with like Queen D6 and B5, then I'm probably just it's just equal at best. But let's see. I'm also threatening A3 to win material as well. I just realized A3 is a, actually Queen A4 might be a brilliant move. Because A3 is a big problem. Like actually more than a big problem. He might just be have to give up the pawn. Because rook c8, a3, he can only go here. Does that work? Did he just find the brilliancy? 
let's see did he just find the brilliancy he might have just found a brilliancy i think he just found a brilliancy i think he found an amazing move with in d5 that's an amazing move um but i'm still up on the clock so i shouldn't panic here just go back Knight d5 is a brilliant move by Andraken. brilliant move under pressure and he finds i think i think it's a brilliant move i mean maybe the computer will say i'm insane but i think it's a brilliant move i do have d5 at some moment i also have f5 ideas okay yeah i th it's pretty it's a pretty good move by him okay let's see play f5 i don't want to i think i might just it's gonna go h4 h5 just try to soften his king side a little bit here yeah it does that i mean i don't go knight g3 i think i'm just gonna go here and take and play rook h1 still a very complicated position extremely complicated take and he can take with the f pawn i guess i could have played h6 2 maybe let's take with f pawn i think that's a good move yeah I, I think i've missed i think i missed the boat here but i'm up on the clock I definitely missed the boat here. I, I'm not better anymore. Go here. I'm gonna try to press him on the clock, like like a Hans Neiman would. Go e5, d5, or Jan would as well. Okay, I have d6, but it's no good. Let's just go here. Queen h4, but there's not actually. Not actually a mate though, is there? I don't see an actual mate. I just seven. I mean, I, I'm closer to being winning. So close, I can sense it almost. Go here. I've check and winning. There. Still very hard to win this. I do this though it's very hard oh and now I just blundered oh my god I just threw did I really just do this again oh my god I just did this again yes 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 there we go oh man oh i did what i did against grishchuk actually right when it was right when it was kind of in my favor I, I i relaxed and i kind of just panicked same thing relax and let go at the wrong moment against 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 andre the way i did against sasha but once i got f5 and i still messed it up though like i realized i still messed it up because also here i think he had knight h5 oh maybe he didn't because i can still go like go like e7 but how did I not should have been over here but it's just he kept finding resource after resource it's amazing but yeah this is crazy thank you to Amanda Dean for the tier one third rock for the 23 Sicilian Toby for the six appreciate thank you so much yeah 
Yeah, I mean, like, uh, oh, man, that was a tough game. Tough game. Very, very tough game. That's it. That's it. I think we win the event. We finish on, um, we win the game. We get to 10 out of 11. We win clear first. Queen d5 was blundered. Wait, yeah, I mean, we can check this in. A, let's just do the um, quick analysis. Let's check this in another scene. Let's see. Okay, so what was this? Okay, like, this is all pretty good. Okay. Queen a4 is actually the best move. Wow. Wow. Knight d5. Also, Andre can found knight d5. <laughs> yeah, knight d5 is an amazing move by Andre can. Really, really good move. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. This is still all best. This is... Wow, I played this better than I thought I did. Rook H1. Uh, I'm supposed to go Rook H1 and it claims I'm better. Wow. What was best? Supposed to go Rook D1 and probably, I guess, push up in the center. Difficult to play. Yeah, it's amazing. Like, you see, so many of these moves we played were best moves. Um, So many best moves. Ah, D5 is wrong. And I'm winning here. Oh, I'm supposed to go king. Oh, I'm supposed to go king h3 because then I have bishop g1. Knight g7, bishop g1, and the queen gets trapped. Uh, oh, wow. That's brilliant. King h3. Wow. Because when I go king h1, now this doesn't trap the queen. If I go here, he gets out. Where's the king? Wow. Oh, uh, so if I go king h3, whatever. I won the game, so I can't be mad, but wow. Oh, but here I also have bishop g3, which is winning. Ugh, so bad. And then, yeah, and then he can just take. And after here, here, check. Not here, sorry. After check, block, check, I have nothing. It's just, it's the boogeyman. There's, I'm just getting checkmated on f3. Or losing my rook. Oh. Wow. Well, he, he goes here, and then, of course, I blunder this, like... But actually, I guess already after knight f5, I'm lost. It's amazing, like, that one move. Queen d5 just throws the whole game. And where does it really... Yeah... Ah, rook d8 is where, yeah, rook d8 with no time is a big mistake. Because after rook d8, f5, then there's a lot of pressure with, like, bishop g5 here. And it's still bad for white, but, like, now it's hard to play with two seconds. Yeah, now after bishop c5, it's starting to, yeah, I mean, he's supposed to go king e8, and he's still better hard to play. He goes here. Rook a7? Rook a7? Oh, my God. And then, what, f6? Knight f4, king h2. Knight e6 and what e7 f7 king h8 bishop e7 you get some kind of weird checkmate pattern here difficult to play very difficult to play so i go here but now i'm worse again it's like actually i'm still worse that's crazy so it's like after this i thought i was it's like now i'm still worse but bishop h6 is a mistake okay and now it's just it's big fat zeros Wait, what? A5 is winning? Oh, because I have A6 and I get the rook behind the pass pawn here, maybe. Wow. Wow. After A6, I mean, it's still a draw, but he ran out of time. Anyway, whatever. That's that. So, yeah, I know everybody in chat is asking me about knight d5. Why was knight d5 a brilliant move here? Because there are a lot of problems here. So, for example, say black moves the bishop to d6. There are two problems. First of all, there's a free pawn on e on c4. Secondly, I have e5 forking the bishop and the knight here, winning material. 
So black can't really move the bishop. At the same time, let's just say black plays move like knight d7 here. I go a3, and your bishop has to retreat to d6, and now I just take the pawn. So I'm up, up a pawn here. Um, so basically, the problem is I'm threatening a3, which then if you move, you lose at least the pawn. But also, there's a fork threat here too. So any knight move except knight d5, even like knight h5, I just go here. And you have to go back and take. And you're just down a pawn. Um, so knight d5 is the only move that kind of holds the glue. Because what happens if I take, he takes back. And now I have to deal with the problem that my bishop and knight are under attack. And now I have to go something like, I don't know, like... Okay, computer says rook g2, I guess, and white's better. But after b5, I mean, okay, very hard to play this position. And now it's even material again. And if I move my knight like here, here, black and trade, take... I take and then he takes and after rook g2 he at least has a draw with queen d1 um or wait actually wait oh sorry knight g3 sorry he doesn't have to take he just goes b5 sorry um and the queen guards the bishop and my queen has to like take a pawn but then again I lose the bishop and I'm completely lost so knight d5 is a brilliant move by Andraken and then after bishop f2 knight b6 now my queen has to go away and the knight holds the pawn so his bishop is free to retreat and mind you white is still a little bit better but it's but the game goes on it's not like I thought it might be close to over whereas 95 really it made the game just keep keep rolling